So go ahead and say, you know, let's say, let's do the IASH intro first. Okay. Um, and you can cut in whenever you want. Okay. Are we on? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Josh, check it. <laughs> all right. First of all, I'd like to welcome uh, those of you who have uh, joined us at IASH 2010. Uh, we've got a real treat today. We have one of my longtime students, uh, Stuart Baxter, who is going to share the compulsion blowout with us um, in the area of addictions. And he um, does several things on there that I think will be really useful to any of you who deal with that population or who might run across that in the future. Um, I'm from NLP Midwest. My name's Dee Kinder. Uh, I've owned the Institute since uh, 1994 in Omaha, Nebraska. Stuart is one of the reasons that I started that Institute. We may tell you a little about that later on, but we just want you to know um, who, who's here, what we're trying to do, and um, how useful this is going to be to you. Stuart, would you tell them a little bit about you? Well, I'm a long since retired Presbyterian pastor, and um, I learned about NLP and the pastorate from a Methodist minister who uh, taught the, uh, the stuff very effectively uh, early on. Uh, and, uh, and some of those folks may know who he is. I'm trying to say his Gene name. Gene Rooney? Gene Rooney, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, and Gene uh, went and took full training in, in counseling and found out it wasn't helping very much and somebody pointed out NLP to him and he said it was good enough that uh, he couldn't afford not to teach it to pastors at a price that, uh, <laughs> that, that they could afford and I um, uh, have to hand it to him for making this available to us. Um, I didn't do very well in my courses with him because I had enough uh, pressure on me in the pastorate that I was not in a very good frame of mind. but. Uh, working with you here in, in uh, this facility um, fine-tuned what I learned from Gene and I found it very useful in the pastorate, just absolutely marvelous in the pastorate and um, I hope that somehow that uh, we'll be able to make it a, a very routine thing in the preparation of people for ministry. Um, but. Right now, what we really want to point out is that when Steve and Connie Ray uh, put this thing in their book, they don't mention one word about the fact of its being useful in uh, mood-altering substances. And uh, when I called Steve's attention to that fact, he said, well, shame on me. <laughs> and um, uh, I, I don't want to shame on him. I just want people to know that... Uh, if you go to the book and follow it, then um, you can apply it not only to unrequited love affairs and, and the fact that you eat too much peanut butter, but also to mood-altering substance in a, in a way which has, uh, uh, well, I've been doing it for 10 years and people will call me and say, I ran into a guy in the grocery store just last week and uh, he came up and shook my hand and greeted me so warmly and finally I said, where do I know you? <laughs> and he said, a year ago today, I did the compulsion blowout with you at the treatment center. And I said, okay, how's it going? What were you, what were you addicted to? And he said, alcohol. And I said, what happens when you walk over there through the, uh, the alcohol section of the grocery store? He said, no big deal. I just go right on past it. So, um, Well, Stuart, I think you've had lots and lots of those experiences I've heard you talk about. Yeah, and, and, uh, and uh, it's uh, not as many as I like, but because um, mostly I don't know uh, what happens to people. But nevertheless, uh, when I do find out, uh, it's either somebody calls and wants a tune-up, they know that it was an important part of their treatment and they want to tune up, or they just call to say, this is a, I, I, one guy that I didn't know I'd worked with, I said, I wish you could come in and watch me work, and he got a kind of funny look on his face, and, and uh, so I shut up, and, and he said, 
I did this with you three and a half years ago. You changed my life. So um, that was. Well, the thing I'm excited about, Stuart, is that by you agreeing to do this, as well as uh, Samara, who's been willing to be photographed and, and videotaped, um, we're going to get a whole lot more little clones of Stuart Baxter out on the street all over the world doing well, this, hopefully. We, you know, when you figure that I'm, I'm 83 years old, we better be getting some clones out there pretty quick. <laughs> well, we've talked about it and dreamed about it for a long time, haven't we? So yeah. this, is, this is the step, and um, the way the world is utilizing the internet at this point, um, we can get this out pretty quickly, not only locally and in some of the, hopefully, the colleges and universities, but to the people at IASH, because they are from all over the world. And not only those who are sitting in this room today, but the ones who will buy the tapes and learn it that way. So we're, we're excited about that, and thank you for sharing this. I know you've been one of the ones that love to make that trip to IASH and learn as much as you could and rub elbows with all of those dignitaries, so to speak. And, uh, you know, the thing that's uh, wonderful is that with this meeting, we can take you with us this time, too. I'd be glad to have you take me with you this way. <laughs> okay. So, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about um, kind of the setup of what, you, what you're going to be doing then with Samara? Well, we will be uh, doing as advertised <coughs> the Compulsion Blowout, which was developed, I think, by Steve and Connie Ray, although it may have been something that, that they just fine-tuned from Richard Bandler. And, um, we will not only do the compulsion blow up, but we'll do the twin uh, piece that uh, is uh, the swish that leaves you with something positive rather than just taking something away. Mm -hmm. And just because I want to, we're going to do state management and uh, hope that people find them useful. So the folks today are going to get three for one, right? Three for the price of one. Can't beat that. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks for joining us. And, um, you know, there's a whole lot to know about this guy that I have so much respect for. He and another fellow named Nick Stefaro are the ones that said, you know, we need to do practitioner here. We, we went and got the information in North Dakota, and now we want to get a certificate. So that was the beginning of my um, institute offering practitioner masters in health training. Stuart's taken every one of those and um, just has been such an inspiration and a coach during um, many, many trainings at the Institute. People just uh, love his input and he is um, meticulous when he does these things. So we, we just have appreciated his support all the way along. And um, just finally glad to pull this together and get it out to the world. Very good. Good end, okay. You wanna start over again and do it while I'm not eating candy?